And uh, Manish, let me come to you because you're someone who's actually going out there and making, you know, cinema which probably, like Konkana said, would have not found the money. You've got a film coming out called Newton. You know, you've done Masan, you've done Dhanak, you've done Aakhon Dekhi. Are you seeing more and more people coming on? Is, are you seeing that there is a change and as a producer, do you find it easier now or is it still something that's a tough ride to make nuanced or led cinema? Hi, good evening. Uh, certainly, uh, uh, for our journey for the last three, four years, uh, when we started from Akhon Deki as uh, producing this film, and today when we stand on the cusp of releasing Newton, the journey is getting easier. Uh, definitely because uh, you prove by one film and then get into the second one and the third one, the fourth one. And also, the advantage came in as the penetration of the digital platform that gave us more viewers, more audiences who watch your film, though not in the cinema hall, but on their laptop, on the TV, or while flying, and they look at that film and they always become our potential customers or viewers when our next film comes in. So the audience base definitely increases, and that becomes one of the pulling figure of getting the journey easier. And when you have a larger audience base who is ready to watch such cinema, then you get more and more actors attracted towards it to, to experiment and to work, of course, on a lower fees because the cost of production matters in these type of films. So, so it definitely the journey has got better, easier, and, and the responsibility now is on us to keep producing uh, and keep making such films so that the viewers' confidence increases on the films and more and more viewers start looking at this and watching these films in the cinema hall and of course also on the digital platform, the satellite platforms. You know, Manish, what did, what did you think about it? I mean, do you feel that it also, you know, touched on topics and things and, you know, uh, aspects of, of the person's life and left you with, with such brilliant performances and so much of it was unsaid. I mean, there was yeah. not, it was not a very dialogue-heavy film. Yeah, so exactly, and I agree with both uh, the comments that were made about the film it's layered, nuanced, and, and we, can, we can feel and we can connect uh, with Sharon. But let me, let me give an, uh, you know, that perspective from producer's point of view. When I sure. watched the film, what interesting things I noticed was, was the level of preparation which went into probably making this film. Because I, I saw it was so prepared. And the using of the real life sets and real life incidences, and the way the camera was working, I mean, I thought it's, it's, it's a case study that Indian filmmakers also should look into from the point of view of getting the preparations done before you start a film. And I also read uh, that, that all the three uh, stratas of Sharon, they didn't see each other's films. And, and if you look at it as one go, it seems as if wow. they learned from each other. So, so that, that actually shows the level of preparation which would have gone into it. And only one character, the mother, is there in all the three sets or segment, rest all are different characters all across. It's episodic, but it's one yeah, film. One film. Cost of filmmaking, Moonlight. It was, it was such an example of uh, independent filmmaking, less than two and a half million dollars the cost, and would have done more than 80 million dollars across worldwide, and also the awards and recognitions and nominations. So this is more interesting for me from producer's point of view, that how the director used the camera, the background score, so light in terms of dialogue and portrayal of the story, that the audience were guessing, audience were also searching for a story within the story, looking themselves uh, as a part of Sharon, and not only just from the African-American point of view, but also from individual point of view that we all have went through in our lives as a childhood, how we have changed um, getting into the adulthood and the adolescence period. So I, I was really uh, happy with the film, both from audience point of view and from producer's point of view.